Guys, we're here actually at Showtime Speedway for Showtime Drift, and uh, Juan and I, this is actually my drift instructor, and he happens to, you know, be in-house, so it's been absolutely awesome. But we just actually got word that there is an abandoned go-kart in here, and Christian, actually my son, who's, we've gotten back into karting a lot. Yeah. What? <laughs> I love this stuff. So. so he has no idea about this. We actually checked it out yesterday, and I'm super pumped to see about this car. But uh, it's it's pretty cool. So here, let's go check it out here. Well, I've seen it. I'm, I'm yeah. I saw it. I stopped dead in my tracks yesterday. Yeah. I was like, he was like, Ooh, oh, that's awesome. Come on here. Like, what? Yeah. No Door yeah. number one. <laughs> <laughs> here, this out. Oh, what? <laughs> It's Dude, a, that's it's a, good. This that's is a Yamaha KT 100, and this thing revs to like 15,000 RPM. So check this out. What the heck? Yeah, it's. It, we don't know if it runs or anything like that. And this is honestly something that I've wanted to do so so long. So I was like, always wanted to get a messed up go kart and try and get it up and running. And he's been trying to actually get into it. There's a new series. It's called a K100. It's almost the same thing, but it's a newer one. But this would be so fun to be able to have this, to be able to rip this thing around. Is that That is well. Oh, so you have to put it in here like so. Oh my god. god. Yeah, I was wondering about that. So the newer part. <laughs> that is amazing. This is what the heck? Yeah, this oh, is going to happen. This is a. <laughs> yeah, we can get this thing up and running. I'm pretty sure. We got some tires for the shop. But dude, this thing obviously is like, look at the dirt. Yeah, that thing's been sitting for a while. What the heck? That's awesome. But I mean, I was like, hey, actually, do this carbon seat. You're hopping this thing real quick here. Me hopping? Yeah, hopping. Hopping in it. Woo! Don't mind the bird coop. Yeah. Well, let's just see if you fit them. To the car? We have no idea who this car just was, but the owner just goes, Hey, I got a go-kart. If you want it, go ahead, come and take it. And I was like, man, that fits like a glove. Dude, that's a rib tech too, isn't it? I don't know. That's awesome. That is. Wow. It is a rib tech. That's a rib tech. That is a serious seat, dude. That's expensive. I bet you this thing rips when you get it running. Hey. Oh, that that's insane. Nice. What the? <laughs> it's like shock. <laughs> this is the last thing I expected. But I don't know what that is. It's like KT100 Yamaha. This is what John, the guy that we were running the aircart, used to run this. He said they turned like 15,000. I don't know. It might be, I mean, if you look at the chassis, it might be like early 2000s or something, but the seat's new. <laughs> the thing's gone. Yeah, yeah. it's just yeah. Well, awesome. we're going to take this thing to the shop, and I'm actually super pumped about getting this thing up and running, but I was like, he was wanting to run something like this. And even my other son, who's actually behind the camera right now, might be able to rip this thing, but it's, these things supposedly take over 20 horsepower or more, but I was ready. Yeah, I can't, I can't wait to get this thing up and running. All right, well, we got this thing here. Uh, it shouldn't take a whole lot of work. We got many hands on deck. First things first, a clean cart is a happy cart, so we've got a lot of dirt. I, honestly, I haven't asked the owner how long this thing has been sitting, but my guess is probably two or three years, maybe as much as five. So we're gonna clean this guy up. We got some tires. We need to see if this is gonna fire. The fuel's gotta go, so we're gonna get on that right now. <laughs> so this thing's supposed to make like 20 something horsepower and maybe if we mill the head we could probably make a little more we might even want to port the head Ooh. i just i cannot do something without wanting to port the head on something to make it more power you know i turned around for a second you already got this tank off so you said it was is it all right inside or what it looked like it's not nice brown smelt bad all right well, let's try and clean that guy up and we got some new fuel lines yep I guess, actually, you can smell it from here. <laughs> All right, so I went to the local go-kart track. I got some takeoffs. These are normally like 230 bucks new. We got these for like 75 bucks, and they still got a lot of life, as you can see. And these are even a little old, but you can see how nice and soft these are. These are going to do absolutely fantastic. Does anybody remember Mega Man? Do you remember yeah, Mega Man? Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so anyway. In order to make these things pretty uh, pliable, we got to stick them out in the sun for a little while. You got to do this all by hand. We're ripping those guys off, and uh, yeah, we'll make it make it easier to do the job. That's a pretty normal three. 
10 millimeter up front. This is a little less, you know, normal now. It's a Unilug. I just found this penetrating solvent that we're gonna try out. It's called ZEP45. It should be really, really amazing for kind of like reviving bearings, but we'll see if we can make it work. That actually, that one's not bad. The thing about the Unilugs is a little weird is that if you tighten it too much, it just won't rotate, but you wanna be that happy medium. They make you C-clip everything. This doesn't have the C-clips on it, but. I can't think of a better job than for super clean to be able to take off like years of grime like this. This is honestly something that we use all the time. Now Juan was just actually hacking his lungs out a second ago. <coughs> super clean is great product. Don't breathe it. Yeah. All right, so actually my son Christian right here has this product called Osbo and uh, we have all this rust right here. All these little rusty spots here, we're gonna spray it on and just hit it with the kind of a scotch bright, and it's supposed to just take it kind of back to a bare metal. Yamaha KT100 was the predominant two-stroke in aftermarket kart racing. I've never seen an ABS plastic floor. I couldn't believe this. I just I just was touching this. I'm like, dude, that looks like plastic, but yeah, that's because it is. It's almost like a 19 whatever, like 1980 Ferrari Testarossa just rolled up and then you're uh, you're getting to work on it. So it looks like a, a real, you know, kind of hunk of junk to some people, but this thing is going to be awesome. I want to hear it run now. That hasn't even been on there for like two minutes yet, has it? Quick. Oh, we gotta hit this too. Where's the where's the Osmo? Awesome? Yeah. A lot of it's come up already. Wow. That's pretty cool. Well, and you have the uh make a pair of pliers you just bring it off. Yeah, if you're ever in a race and uh you actually collect a lot of water. That's not a really good feeling, especially if it's cold. It's kind of like a wet diaper. <laughs> That's actually coming up pretty good. You're actually almost back to the bare metal, yeah. Oh, we got a lot of grime off this thing already too. This chain has been in the same spot for a long time and it actually has like a hard kink in it. So we're gonna kind of work it with some lube and see if we can kind of get it to not have that locked up couple links there. That's gonna make a huge difference. It actually will make a big difference on power too. Everything with carding is so incremental. So it's like teeny tiny little itty bitty things make such a big difference. So we fired up a cart. Uh, actually, we fired up uh, a cart that I got from uh, Garrett a while ago. And it was the inside of the guts of the two stroke pipe were coming apart. And I put my hand in front of where it was like the exhaust stream and it impregnated my hand with you know, bits and pieces right. of, uh, of steel. So we can, <laughs> you guys are like low key freaking having a water fight over here. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Yeah, dude, that's pretty good. That's really good. You guys see the other side there, here. <laughs> are you PB the bearings back? or something? Yeah. Grease them. Here's a lot of conditions team. All the iron pans. It washed off like 85 pounds. Look at this, it's so light. Right, that looks so much better. It really does look so much better. Honestly amazing. We got years of grime collected in the carb. We're gonna pull that guy off. And uh, so we already worked on pulling the tank. Wow, got that, that clean. very weird. Oh, we like need that. to fix that, man. Anybody knows that radius right there, boy. Well, let's get it up and running. We'll try and make more power afterwards. Juan is taking off the expansion pipe. If we can, we did this before and that we heated this guy up with some, uh, whoa, dude, it is really light, holy. Wow. Alright. So I'm not do that again. <laughs> I can't believe it's so light that I have to hold it down. It's just taking yeah. the springs off the exhaust. I mean we could wait and find out if this is like the lightest cart that we were at. Dude, I mean it doesn't have any coolant or anything like that, so. Works smarter than hard. Come on. Mm. 
Oh, yeah. Oh. It's got a nice little carbon. Oh, it's, yeah, let's clean that guy up. Oh, look at that little thing. I mean, piston looks pretty good, though, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Dang. Right. It's got that high dome piston. What's crazy is that, like, look at how small, like, that is. That's wild. So that piston is only, like, that big as a 100cc. Not familiar with this car, but every two stroke has to have this like pulse from the intake to drive the fuel pump. So apparently, this is the fuel pump, and then this is the pulse that it gets right down in there. So, this is the crankcase, and it's giving the pulse to the fuel pump right there. And uh, I'm gonna start taking this guy off. So, I don't even know where the main goes. I'm like looking for a slide and stuff, but it's not gonna be that style. You're changing on the fly. I'm just not familiar with this carb though. I've never had this type of carb, but that has to be closing or opening the jet. So it, yeah, it's going to have to be somewhere in here. These strokes are so, so freaking weird. If they're too rich, they act like they're too lean. And it's like when they're lean, they're on and they are really on. So, oh my gosh, dude. Yeah, it's almost, that's a six heat range plug. So I run like a 10 or 11 in the plugs that we have now. Honestly, we might even be able to replace that with something like a, we're gonna get a seven heat range just so it doesn't spark knock and kill itself if we happen to put the wrong fuel. Working on a go-kart is a lot like a car. You have so many of the same components, but you can just get through them and fix them a lot faster. So it is really gratifying, especially with my son. Uh, we just recently found a way to scrape all of the plastics and really rejuvenate them. We often use a lot of WD-40 on cleaning a lot of stuff up. I'm just inspecting the brakes here and uh, putting in the fuel tank. Uh, a lot of times, just like any of these small motors, the fuel lines tend to get a little bit uh, brittle, and uh, especially if the fuel's been sitting in there, the car needs a lot of uh, service and maintenance. But this thing's gonna rip. I have no idea how good Teflon's gonna hold up here, but I'm trying to uh, that thing to create a better gas because we won't have a issue right there. Alright, so I just talked to a buddy of mine and he can't have had one of these. And he's like, ah, oh, you're probably going to want to put race gas in it gonna be high compression we don't know it seems like it turns over really quick and easy but we're gonna play it safe gonna put some c12 in there even though it's like $20 a gallon then we're gonna use some of the uh, Yama lube that we actually had in the cart stand I've always heard about this stuff and I know it's supposed to be like legendary for this thing but dude, we're like that close dude, that is dark dark purple it's good stuff right here man just never had it so good Get some of that purple crank. I've never, you know, I don't even know if I've ever heard one of these. My buddy, as I was just mentioning from Canada, he's like, oh yeah, they'll turn like 18, 19,000 RPM. I was like, oh my gosh, man. <laughs> and I think one of those, I mean, we'll fire it up. Right. Right. Or makeshift cool. battery. Yeah. <laughs> It'll work. It's pretty good. Well, dude, we got the thing primed, we got the fuel in it. Uh, it doesn't have a choke. I've never charged and started this thing, but let's just give it a try and see what happens. So, I hope this thing doesn't like torque over on me or something. I don't know what's gonna happen. But let's just give it a shot. Like, yeah. I don't know if we kill for the motor. So, I kill for the motor, but good thing to figure out. All right, it's yeah, in. Pull, uh, pull the spark plug out. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, but. All right. Sounds like okay. somebody's getting chopped. Uh, or, uh, or uh, we're gonna stuff that in the. Or I just, you know. Yeah, that's what I put that there because. Uh, oh yeah, let's put that right there. That's on standby right okay. there. Okay. All right, go ahead. Alright, ready? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> 
Think it's just like, let's swap the tires. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna be able to run this thing in just like, let's swap the tires. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> swap the tires. <laughs> We're gonna drive this today. I, I was just jumping. It's like, 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 is it running right now? Dude, I don't. I haven't even like revved it all the way out, but this thing sounds like it's revved crazy. Like it sounds like it doesn't do anything underneath seventy five hundred. Wow. It's wow. like, wow. And like the clutch, watching that engage was, that was wild. Man. Yeah, it was. Dude, that clutch is nasty. Yes, dude. Sheesh! We can literally party here and stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can go. Alright, alright. We gotta swap tires. We are. Oh, dude. I can't believe you gave me that. Oh my gosh! <laughs> that was okay. so crazy. Dude, can you wait to drive this or what? Dude. High five to me. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't do nothing. <laughs> All right, so fun That's fact that. about go-karts here, they actually do run a beadlock because literally the tire will spin on the rim. They have so much grip. Uh, I mean, you're running a slick all the time, so we're gonna try and test this out, but I have de-beaded these by hitting a curb before and and wrecked proper. Haven't you, son? Oh yeah, probably about three, <laughs> about three or four times. All right, we're tightening up this uh, air filter right here, and dude, I cannot believe, it looks so much better too. Looks so good. All right, fellas, we did a little bit more cleaning up here. We got our nice, fresh, new wheels and tires on there. And remember, I was talking about that C-clip. We just found some in the shop. Christian's putting it on the other side. And as soon as you get that guy in right there, we got the other side to do. But uh, we did a little bit more spit shining and really, really happy with the way that the, uh, the pipe came out as well as the axle. Everything's really, uh, really, really pretty darn nice. Kind of sprayed just a couple things that were a little off color, but dude, I am so pumped with the way this, this thing came out. So I had no idea that this thing was over at the track for as long as we've been going over to the track. It was actually in the tech booth and uh, the, the guy that I was talking about with this engine that said that he had this years ago was like, oh yeah, yeah, it's over in the tech booth. He's like, you didn't know that was there? And he's like, man, yeah, I saw it. I was gonna ask about it. Well, I'm glad he didn't. We're gonna go all the way in there on that and try that. Almost all the way in. That is so funny having that giant box to start yeah. this thing. Oh, cool. <laughs> It's time for a Ripsy? Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. Dude, this is a good part. This is how I feel when I get my thirds running. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, okay. This is so light. <laughs> this is so light. Oh, this is gonna be tight for a big fella. Ooh. Big fella? Ooh. What are you talking about? Oh, actually, you're thinner than me. Oh my gosh, dude. Like, you look like you're being hugged. Yeah, I, I am. Which it's is definitely for some. This is definitely something for like somebody that's like five eight or five nine. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I need this seat moves back a lot. But. That's all right. Dude, this thing's gonna rip. All right, let's this get. This hurts sitting here. Now. Christian. Oh my gosh, dude! Look at that carbon. Woo! Shh. That thing's glistening oh, in the sun. Woo! Yeah, 
Looks like it rips, man. It was so fast. I saw it's so weird because I don't go full throttle, and I saw as soon as I started top end more, I had to lift a little bit to kind okay. of back off because it was like I think it was like too rich up top. Yeah, I think it is probably too rich then. So yeah, so it was just, it just keep going and going. I was like, oh my god! Eventually, it ran out of gear, but like holy cow, it had it had no trouble. It had a lot of RPM. You think it was probably going about 60 miles an hour at least? Oh yeah, probably faster. Yeah, it sounds like it's got a lot, man. That was crazy. Dude, I'm so happy with this thing. What a score. I mean, I'm telling you guys, <laughs> if you can get your hands on an old go-kart like this and a little bit of work, not a lot of money. I mean, dude, I'm so, so, so pleased with it. You guys got to try and do this. I definitely want to encourage more people to get into karting because it is so much fun for the money. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. Actually, since that video, I've acquired two more karts. This is an absolutely beautiful 2014, 2015 Tony Kart. I got another one actually right back over there. And uh, my kids and I have been cleaning this guy up. This came from a friend of mine and his wife. And uh, absolutely killer deal, no motor, but we're gonna have this thing up and running. I love carts. Uh, I'm definitely crazy about them. And please take it from me. I have driven many, 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 you know, well over a thousand horsepower cars and all this stuff, but for the money and the amount of enjoyment for the money, there's nothing that beats this. I guarantee you there's some deals out there and it just go ahead and dive in. Try and find out if there's a local go-kart track and uh, you will have yourself a heck of a lot of fun. A little nugget I wanted to leave you guys with is that the divine uses broken and unlikely people to do extraordinary things. And you know, you never know what's around the corner. I heard this one time and I was hooked. It was absolutely awesome. It's kind of like rumba guitar, but very, very cool flavor. It's called Bogota by Bus by Jesse Cook. Check it out. God bless you guys. We'll see you next episode.